Hey, what's up guys, Nerky46, and today I'm going to be talking about the new GPUs from AMD. So, AMD has recently released on their Facebook page that the new GPUs are coming, and guess what day it is? Drumroll! It's coming out on 9-25-13! So, that is going to be at the Tokyo convention that they're having right now, and they're going to be showing off the new GPUs which ah, is going to be amazing. Now, I'm not sure when they're actually going to be shipping them out to the people. I think that they're going to be shipping out in October to the actual consumers. They're just basically going to be showing them off later this coming week, which is going to be awesome. Previously, they have been marked as the AMD 9000 series. However, I have found on a couple articles online, one is from WCCFTech.com. The article will be in the description as well that the new AMD Volcanic Islands could possibly be called the Radeon R200 series, which would make sense so that people aren't confusing them with their newer CPUs that they've recent rele recently released. So instead of calling them the 9000 series, it seems like they're going to be calling them the R200 series. So as you could say, so like the, um, the R9 200 would be replacing the uh, 7900 series GPUs from the Tahiti architecture as of we have, well, as of what we have right now. And so the R8 200 series would be re replacing the 7800 series and so on. So the biggest GPU that they have been talking about and they've released some information on is the AMD R9 290X, which is supposed to be comparable to the GTX Titan and the GTX 690 or whatever you want to call it. And the now this GPU also compares to the 7990, and it's up in that enthusiast class range. It has a memory bus of 512 bits. It has a video RAM of four gigabytes of GDDR5. It has uh, eight to six pin power configuration, basically the same as most GPUs now. It and its launch price is 599 US dollars. Now, in comparison to when the AMD 7970 had first come out, it launched, at launch price, it was $550. Now, coming into the market now at about $600, that is a really good sweet spot for the enthusiast class GPUs. Now, most enthusiast class GPUs cost you $600 to about $1,000. Now, this new GPU, the R9 290X from AMD, um, of the new Hawaii GPUs is going to be comparable to the Titan, which is what they are releasing as of right now. Now, given that this GPU can compare with the Titan, it's pretty crazy because the Titan right now is $1,000, and the new Hawaii GPU is only releasing at $600, which is a huge competition there. So, I mean, that's a $400 difference in price, and they can compete? Now, obviously, the Titan may win out in battles, but, but honestly, for $600, that's putting up quite a fight. Now, the new Hawaii GPUs, since they are going to be releasing in October, it is also said that Battlefield 4 may be coming with them as a free bonus with a new GPU, since they are coming out most likely in October, and Battlefield 4 is releasing on October 29th. Now the next topic I wanted to get into about these new GPUs is maybe why, maybe you're asking would I really need to upgrade to these new GPUs? Now the answer that I'm giving as of right now with obviously with no benchmarks given for these GPUs is probably not. Now current GPUs that you have, say you have a 7950 like I have or a 7870, you're still going to be able to be playing Battlefield 4 on really good settings if not even high or you know, pushing your GPU to the fullest, and you're not going to have to buy these new GPUs for their max retail cost that they're probably going to be coming out at. Now, if you're one of those enthusiasts, these new GPUs could be like the next great thing that you would really want to put in your system. So yeah, guys, that pretty much wraps up this video. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, be sure to give me a like, as well as leave a comment if you have any questions or concerns about the new AMD GPUs. And what do you think about them? Do you think they're going to be groundbreaking? Or do you think they're just going to be, you know, the next GPUs and we'll continue to have our GPUs? And... So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. See you next time.